Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome. So this is kind of like a random um, bunch of things that I got at Dollar Tree recently. It's going to be a Dollar Tree haul and everything I got here I probably got within the past week. Okay, so more than likely, unless I say it, I think every, but everything will still be um, there except for possibly something like this because something like this might go because it's pretty big. It's a fabric uh, refresher, and it also comes in a either lilac or lavender scent. I can't remember because I did get the other one, but I left it down in my car because I got a lot of things, and this is kind of heavy, but this is the crisp linen scent, so I didn't want to carry everything up, but I'm pretty sure the other one is uh, either lilac or lavender, but I think it's lilac. But anyway, this smells so good, this stuff. I just, you know, when I vacuum, I end up spraying it around the room. Oh, my God, this smells so good. Okay, so I got that. That's LA's Totally Awesome Fabric Refresher. And then they had um, these Sure Fresh reusable um, bags. You know, they're the kind that they kind of, and you can wash them out. And for some reason, I only saw the ones that had the one bag. There might be ones that have two bags, but... It's got the cute little tulips on it, right? Very spring-like. So I got this. And then speaking of spring-like, look at this garland, right? How adorable is this? Let's open it up, okay? I'm going to figure out where I'm going to put this somewhere in here. But it looks to me like it's on a string. I don't want to open it up totally. But, well, let me untangle that a little bit. Okay, so there it is, just like stretched across my coffee table, but how pretty is that? And it's got like this twine on it, and you can like hang it like any way you want. I guess you could hang it on a mantle, whatever you want. They're made out of like felt, and they're kind of stuffed up in the middle. How adorable are these little tulips, right? For spring, I love this. For $1.25, how can I pass that up? That is so colorful and pretty for spring. And actually, I'm going to be making an Easter tree very soon. I'll show it to you. And who knows, I might even drape this around my Easter tree. This is like so cute. And I also got some of this deco mesh with the Easter tree in mind. I figured yellow this time around. I don't usually go for just yellow, but I thought that would be so cute. And then this has been on my wish list for a while. I don't remember who. I watch a lot of videos, so I don't remember who had this but this is a blender travel case you know like the makeup blenders and it's shaped like the strawberry and I was always wondering you know like how do you keep those brushes from you know the little makeup sponges from like getting on other stuff and now I know when I saw that I was like okay yep so you don't have to just have it for travel you can have it like for in your house to store your um, makeup sponges in it and then when I saw this, I was like, wait a minute. I I didn't know they had like a knockoff of this wrinkle spray because I see this on a commercial for like a, a big name. I can't remember the big name. But when I saw this, I was like, wait a minute, wrinkle away spray. I haven't tried it yet. It releases wrinkles, removes static, um, eliminates odor and refreshes. And it's a linen scent. So I'm going to try it and I'll have a video out where I try a few things and I'll let you know how this works. But um, because I have something that is kind of wrinkled, I'll see if it ends up working and I'll let you know. And then speaking of wish list, okay, I got these makeup sponge sets. I'm going to assume that this is, yeah, that's plastic. And I'm going to assume, oh, that's actually a sponge. So there's a sponge and there's a sponge. So there's two sponges. I didn't know about this one. I knew about this one. I knew there was something like that out there. Um, but this is plastic and there's the sponge in it. I may end up giving these in an Easter basket. Um, but how cute are those makeup sponge sets? A blender with a handle. Oh, so that's going to be the handle for that. And that's a sponge set because that one's a sponge, definitely. So how cute are those? So I got my wish. This is, what is this, my second wish list one? And then I saw these, and how cute are these? Okay, how adorable are these? You could actually put like a little glue, like a little wood stick, uh, not a wood stick, a little wood block that they also sell at the Dollar Tree, but I have tons of them hanging around the house. And you could like stand these bunnies up 
These are so adorable. I'm starting to get into like, um, you know, that plain look. So I don't even know if I would paint these. I would just kind of like leave these wooden, kind of like rustic. You know what I mean? And there's 12 pieces here. Um, I was also thinking about gluing them along a banner, like gluing one on, you know, those like um, burlap banners that they have at Dollar Tree, like maybe gluing one on each piece of the banner. If I do it, I'll show you. But these are so cute in this 12. And then I like to do fairy gardens every now and then. I don't always keep up with it, but... I saw these and I was like, oh my God, those are so adorable, right? Because they could go in any fairy garden. They're kind of a little bit more like for spring. But I could see these in like a Valentine fairy garden, Easter, a summer. You know, it doesn't just have to be for spring. Little like things for the birds. The bird baths, I think they're called. Okay, and then these are like these little... It looks like the bunnies are like jumping over something. Let me take one out so... And what I was thinking is, because I ended up getting something like this and I paid a little bit more money for it. It looks like kind of like the bunnies hopping away. You could like glue a stick on this and stick it in your tree, you know. That would be the easiest way to put that in a tree, I would think, is glue like one of those long sticks. They sell them in Dollar Tree, like in the, the section where they have all the forks and stuff on the wall. Um... And then you just like kind of glue it to the back and it's like a pick for the tree. So how cute is that? And I think I spent like two bucks on one somewhere else. Maybe at like, uh, I, I forget where, but I, I might end up showing it to you if I can find it before this video is over. But that will go on my tree as well, my Easter tree. And then let's jump to some food for a minute. 100% um, pure honey. There's, it's all natural. There's no artificial colors. Um, it says it's direct from hives, from a hive, direct from a hive. But anyway, look at that. It's a cute little packaging too, right? And it's pure honey because they do have stuff in there that's not pure real honey, but I found the real stuff. So I thought that was kind of a good price, $1.25 for honey. That's pretty good actually. And I'm kind of pulling them out of the bag randomly. So here's another little, um fairy garden um, figurine so that is so cute and I'll probably do a nice little spring fairy garden I'm kind of like changing up around here a lot so it's been a while since I put out a fairy garden but I'll probably end up doing one soon and here is another fairy garden and I thought that was so cute because it's got like a little face on the tree trunk um, there was another one that had like a face on it too but this is a different one if I'm not mistaken I think the other face was a little bit higher, but this is so cute, right? <laughs> so I love this. And then I got these little mini carrots. Um, I think these would be more for like scatter, like on a tear tray, which I will be doing a tear tray as well. I'm starting my tear tray already. Um, but how cute are these little mini carrots, right? Because I have a couple of like little mini figures from, you know, Easter that I think I want to make on my tear tray. And going back to, I think this is the last of the figurines I got. But I got these three little ladies. So these are so cute too. And then how cute is that little carrot? It's just sitting there, right? The little carrot. <laughs> I love this. It's just like, it fell apart though. I noticed that when I took it out of the bag, the piece was off it. So I dug in the bag and I found it. So let me just stick that back on there very easy to do and um yeah so this is like a little piece it says hi i'm a carrot that's it it's so cute i love it and then going back into the cleaning supplies for a little bit um downy rinse and refresh three times the odor power and um it says it's safe on all fabric and i don't know if you like throw this whole thing in there L let me see what how many uses you get out of this? Okay, if I'm reading this correctly, because I probably need glasses to read through this. It's kind of blurry, and I don't feel like getting up and looking for glasses. I want to say that it's about a quarter of a cup, it says, to put in. So there's probably, like, probably two uses out of this. But um, let me see how... Hold on one second. I want to see if it smells really nice like downy. 
yes, you will not be disappointed with this. This smells just like downy. It actually smells a little bit lighter, but it smells like the downy, but it doesn't smell like... It has a little bit more of a light, airy smell to it than the usual thick blue downy stuff. So anyway, guys, I'm going to try that. Now, here's something that I had never seen before, but it's called a USB floating humidifier. So I am going to open it up. I haven't even opened it up yet. I don't even really know, like, what it does. Oh, okay. So, well, wait a minute. How is it going to flow? Uh, let, me, let me read the back of this so I'll see what this is about. Okay, I'm going to read the back of what the package says, okay? Um, it's teeny tiny, so bear with me, all right? It says, it is recommended to use clear ta tap water instead of mineral water. And then you place the humidifier um, in a USB-A port and place the humidifier in a body of water. Um, there is a built-in sensor located at the bottom of the humidifier. Once the sensor detects that the humidifier is in water, an LED light will illuminate to indicate that the humidifier is turned on. And note that it may take up to 10 seconds for the humidifier to um, start dispersing water. And if there's no water, the LED light will turn off. I don't know. I don't know about this. I'm not really sure because, like, it's electrical. I, I'll try it and hopefully, <laughs> hopefully I won't get hurt. But... I'll try it and let you know how it is, but I'm not saying go out and run out and buy it because I don't know how it works. But here is the picture of it, and I guess you put it in one of those like little glass containers that has the water. So obviously the wire is not hitting the water. Um, but yeah, now that I see it, I don't know. It's probably just like the other thing that I have that you plug in that has water in it. Um, but anyway, I'll let you know how it goes, and I'll let you know how I feel about that, okay? But I just thought that was something different. And now I'm wondering if I should have even got it. Okay, so if you're bold and daring, this is called Liquid Lip. Okay? And let me open it up. Because I don't know if I'm going to be bold and daring enough to put this on my lips. Um, if I end up putting it on my lips, I'll let you know. I'll maybe show a picture or something. I'm not going to do it in this video, though. Maybe I'll do it like on a... Um, but this is by... Lip Art Graphic, okay? And let me see if there's like a bigger brand name on that. Okay, when I got this out of the package, it said this could be a liner too, not just a lip. So I'm going to show you the color of it. And... Oh, wow, it's pretty. Look at that. Would you put that on your lip? Let me know. I would definitely put that on my eye. On my eyelids. I don't know if I put that on my lips. Maybe if I was a teenager nowadays, you know, I'd, if I was, because I was daring as a teenager. I don't know if I'm going to be daring now, but that is actually a really pretty color though. Let me know if you'd put that on your lips. So we're coming to the end, guys. And I saw these. I just opened it up so I wouldn't take all day to open it up on the um, video, but it's called Neon Glow Tumblers. Okay. And it caught my eye because I like anything that kind of does stuff like this okay neon glow tumblers there's four of them in here and let's see how they work now what is this um what is this thing well i think oh they all right these are glow sticks as you can see they're glow sticks but i don't want to they must be in here let me see what this is all about um, I'll put the, I'll do the cups in a minute, but okay. So here's a glow stick. So how do you get the glow stick? Shake the glow sticks for about 30 seconds. Okay. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that right now, but let's see how these, let me see if I can figure out how to get these on. Okay guys. So I kind of figured it out. So you got to bend the glow stick. You do have to use the glow stick for this particular thing. And then you shake it and then you stick the glow stick. I'm assuming this up in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it has to be eight, right? Because there's only four cups. I dropped one on the floor, so. But there, I get that glow stick going. Now that's going to start glowing in a minute. And then, then I'm going to put this one like this. 
and bend it up in there. And go in, stay in. Oh, that one popped out. Okay, so I don't know, but that's how they work, guys. Okay, so that's how they work. You got to get them both in there. Um, it's probably going to be a little bit of a pain to do, but if you got patience, which I do, I think I could do this no problem. So, go one more time. I think what happened was they didn't make these cups at the top wide enough for these. Oh, yeah. See, every time I put one on, the other one pops off. So maybe they were made a little bit weird. Maybe the top has to be. But anyway, you get it, right, guys? I don't know. Now that I'm thinking about this, I'm not sure if I like those. But they're cute, right? So <laughs> anyway, guys, tell me what you think. Thank you for watching. I really, oh, well, I'm glad that the thing was still running while we <laughs> wait for this one to pop off, right? But anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate you watching my little Dollar Tree haul. Just random stuff that I picked up this past week or two. Um, pretty much everything will probably still be there. I don't know if this would even be worth going for because these are very flimsy plastic so if i were you i i'm be honest with you i wouldn't even bother with those so um that is it guys i hope you're all having a great day and i'll see you in the next video bye now